Next question is from Chris. This is a really neat question because I've never been asked it before and I was excited to answer it. I'm probably gonna stumble through it because you know, every time you answer something for the first time. So Chris says, what does intuition feel like to you? Gut feeling is so often used. Yeah, we a lot of times we just say, well, it was a gut feeling. I've never been asked this question, so I'm excited that you asked this question and I get to explore it a little bit. And I was thinking about it before I, you know, push record here on the video. I was thinking about it and I thought, well, first off, it's always different for every single person. Your intuition is unique to you. And the sooner you can grab onto that, the sooner your intuition is going to open up even further. Um, so everyone's going to feel differently, but there are some little nuggets in here that might be able to help you when it comes to using your intuition that kind of are, you know, that cover the broad span of intuition in general. And the first one would be letting go of the agreed upon reality. And for me, and I'll explain that, but for me, what that feels like is it feels like a uh, fading away. Everything around me just sort of fades into uh, the distance and disappears. I forget where I am. I forget what's anything that I'm not focused on just sort of goes away. Um, and the agreed upon reality is the solid. It's it's the it's the television. It's the uh, desk. It's the camera. It's the solid. It's the physical body and. What we're looking for when we're having an intuitive moment is to be in between the solid, not not focused on the solid, but focused on the non-solid because that's where all the information is. That's where source is. That's where spirit is. That's where it all flows. So when I say letting go of the agreed upon reality, I'm saying defocus from your environment. Have you ever had something, you know, go, you know, you see something out of the corner of your eye it's like a flash maybe you think it's a spirit or something like that and it might be and then you turn and look and it's gone pause while many people go yes <laughs> that's because that corner of your eye is defocused there's you're not focused and by focusing by turning and looking the act of looking in the solid room for what was in the solid room you're not going to see it because what was you know flash out of the corner of your eye wasn't solid. Make sense? So in letting go of the agreed upon reality, meaning disconnecting, defocusing from the solid, I find that I feel as if I'm falling into, this gets back to what do I feel when, when I read, I feel like I'm falling into a different place. It's, um, you know, like in the movies when they're like, doo -doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. <laughs> that's kind of what it feels like for me when I go into a reading. Uh, for me, I'll focus, uh, I'll defocus, I'll look down, I'll defocus, and I'll, I'll, I try to stare at the space in between like the floor and me and just allow my eyes to relax. And when that happens, I kind of feel like, I feel like the, everything just sort of falls away and I fall into something. Um, when I am, uh, in an intuitive moment, for me, it's all pull. You know, I'm pulled here, I'm pulled there, I'm pulled here. And I hear, I hear, and I see, and I sometimes feel. So when it comes to seeing, uh, the, the loved ones that come through for me and then the visions that I have typically are uh, slightly transparent uh, to kind of a lot transparent sometimes sometimes the spirit will come through and it will be almost like a fog um, almost like a mist or like heat rising off the road and so when that happens that tells me that this is uh, much more the information coming through from that spirit is much more um, emotional and just connective whereas if I see a spirit that comes through and I can I can envision them I can um, see them they're still transparent but i can see perhaps how tall they are or how you know how large they are <laughs> uh, that's usually because i need to be descriptive to help the sitter know who's coming through um when i hear i don't hear in like it's coming from the outside i do hear in um inside so i hear kind of with the third eyes or third ear no anyway i hear inside and when i first started to hear because when I opened up I first I could see and then I eventually developed the um, the hearing 
And so now when I hear a loved one or a guide speaking, it's, it's in sentences and it's pretty clear for me. And it feels like when you're sitting there and you're, this is what it feels like, Chris. <laughs> when you're sitting there with a friend, a living friend, you're having coffee and they are telling you an intense story and you feel like you're like the world falls away and you're leaning in because you, you're really excited to hear the next sentence. That's what it feels like when I am hearing something intuitively, when I'm communicating with the spirit. When I see something, when they show me a vision of something or an image or I see a spirit or a guide, um, I feel like I'm in a movie theater. I feel like, you know, when you can get into a movie theater and you sit down, you get your popcorn, da, 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 but the movie's so good that you get lost in it, that feeling of, of the world fading away, that's, that's what I feel when I see. So overall, um, I guess the teaching bit in here today would be let go of the agreed upon reality. Let the outside world fade away and know that what you're, what you're searching for to connect with intuitively is not in the solid, it's in between. So as soon as you can stop focusing on the solid, you'll be able to access more. Thanks for the question. That's great. I've, like I said, I've never been asked it before, so it was really kind of neat for me to be able to jump on here and answer it. So thank you, Chris. I really appreciate it.